Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for June 17th or June 23rd, 2019. I'm going to start by pulling you a chakra dice to see which chakra is most impacted this week. Okay, so you guys are coming out as the uh, sacral chakra. So this is your creativity, this is your empathy, this is your sensuality, this is the yin energy within you. So Aquarius, this week there's something going on with that sacral, so let's see what else comes out. All right, so this rolled on a five. That would be um, throat chakra. So Aquarius, there your week is highlighted um, with conversation, but where's that conversation stemming from? The, um, the sacral chakra. And again, this is going to be about like your creativity, your passion, your artistic ability. Um, this could be where you're having a conversation with another person, really like heart and soul, very sensitive, tender, loving, nurturing type of energy exchange between you and the other person. Or this could be a very exciting, a stimulating uh, exchange of information between you and another person. Also, those of you who are like in the arts or like out in the public eye on any capacity, this week could be like a really big week for you where you're really standing out and shining in some capacity through speaking, um, through performing, through some sort of written word. Okay, so very highlighted for you guys. Um, like you'll shine, you'll stand out creative ideas that are bubbling up from within you, you know, run with them because you're, uh, I don't know, your, your sacral chakra is incredibly stimulated this week, Aquarius, and it has a lot to do with um, communication, conversation, um, expression of some kind. So let's pull you an oracle card and see what your energy is for the week. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, I bet you Secret Temptation, because like almost every sign has received this card, I swear, like I want to yank it out. Um, I don't know what it is about people being tempted this week as well, but it, man, here it is. I'll tell you, um, I only have one more reading after you, Aquarius, and the main theme in all the readings has really been communication of some kind or temptation and so it's here it is coming through for you guys and so with this card uh, let me explain it for the uh, 11th time here um, is all about like Aquarius you know and especially seeing that sacral being super stimulated if you are considering doing something that you know is not um, in your best interest, it, it's like straying out of the boundaries. You might want to think twice before you follow through with anything like that this week. It's just not um, favorable for you to step out of the boundaries um, and be, you know, tempted by something. Also with this, be very cautious that somebody is not attempting to lead you astray by saying everything that you want to hear, all right? So, let's pull some more cards. Also, Aquarius, this just flowed through. It could almost be like somebody um, is willing to do something that's not exactly on the up and up for you, like wants to do you a favor or, hey, Aquarius. Like, they could be, um, this is a good another like situation that's kind of coming through um, almost like somebody is like dating somebody else but if they feel like they have a chance with you they would cheat to be with you and that like they're really trying to put it in your face don't go there Aquarius you don't want to deal with all of that okay um, also like if somebody's done you wrong or, or just being a jerk it's almost like somebody else in your life is like do you want me to take care of that for you like it's wow so let's pull some uh tarot dice here and 
see what comes out there because this is actually a pretty interesting read. It feels kind of like gossipy and juicy and drama, Aquarius. And I don't really get that from your guys' energy ever. You guys are more like kosher and, you know, like you don't, you pull away from that type of energy. But man, I feel like it's almost a soap opera going on for some of you this week. So let's see. Um, we have the Magician. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Aquarius. Um, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Listen, the Nine of Swords here is like, refrain from all activity that is not on the up and up whether it's you enacting it or somebody trying to enact it on your behalf it's like uh-uh also again i do feel aquarius like somebody is really trying to um appeal to your emotions somehow some way and almost like bedazzle you to get what they want from you like trying to uh like hoodwink you mentally manipulate you um and again, if, if you're getting like a sense of what's being said to you is too good to be true or somebody's just kind of coming at you like a bit too hard, giving you too many compliments, things like that, like you're right to not really trust that, okay? Um, I, I just feel like they have some sort of ulterior motive going on that might not be outrightly obvious to you. Um, you know, at the start here. So if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, just because we have this king of wands here. Man, some of you, I don't know, Aquarius. I'm just going to call this the week of temptation because it's like some of you, man, I think some of you are like in relationships and somebody's coming at you really hard and you're very tempted. Now, if you're a cross watcher of Aquarius, this does not mean that you're Aquarius, all right? I just feel that um, either like you're in a relationship and they're coming hard at you or um, they're in a relationship, but they're still coming hard at you. I don't feel like you're trying to like, uh, like you're not the facilitator of any of this. Okay, even if it's very stimulating and exciting for you, you're not the facilitator of it. I don't, I don't get that sense whatsoever. Um, Aquarius, just walk the line, man. I feel some of you are so tempted this week, and it, you know, it doesn't have to just be about romance. This could be about friends. This could be in the workplace. You could be obligated to something that you really don't want to participate in, and and you like want to pull out from it again that might not be in your best interest it's like what you've promised follow through on um be so true to your word this week aquarius but you know this is a general reading so you might just be watching all of this unfold outside of you like i said it feels like there's a soap opera theme going on um in your reading somehow some way so let's pull some more cards here and see what else is going to come out. Um, I don't know, Aquarius. I'm trying to spin this as positive as I can, but no. There is something about temptation, stepping out of the bounds, and it's just not a good idea to do it. It's not like spirits coming through so strong saying, don't do it. I see how strongly you are being tempted, how stimulated your sacral chakra is, but it's not worth it. Um, and you know what? Just got to put this out there uh, because of that nine of swords. Some of you, this may be like where we're really worrying this week about something that happened last week where maybe we stepped out of the bounds or uh yeah because that nine of swords would have to be you that that wouldn't be somebody else's worry and concern um so let's see aquarius let's see what else comes out okay so we have the page of cups on the magician yeah, you be careful, Aquarius. Somebody may be trying to hoodwink you and, like, get what they want from you. Uh, with the Page of Cups sitting on the Magician, um, based on everything else I've seen, it's like, here, let me offer you this temptation. Let me lead you astray. 
And Five of Wands sitting on top of this uh, Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords sitting on top of King of Wands. And the Hanged Man. Wow, and he was actually upside down. Interesting. Okay, Aquarius, listen. Do not be led astray this week. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. It ends in treachery. It truly does, okay? Um, others of you, like where you are witnessing like this injustice or this soap opera unfolding outside of you, man, listen, Aquarius, even though like you may want to blow the whistle or whatever, I highly recommend not um, because... We have the Ten of Wands here, which is like, the way I'm reading it in your uh, reading here is like really heavy energy, like really wanting to do something, um, but, but you shouldn't do it. With the Hanged Man there, it's like, don't do it. However this plays out for you, Aquarius, however it's speaking to you for this week, don't do it. If it's going to hurt somebody... Um, if it's going to, if you're going out of the bounds, don't do it. If you know some really juicy gossip and soap opera about somebody, don't tell it. At least not this week. It doesn't mean like, you know, eventually you can't, but this week is it's not the right time. Um, some of you, there may be somebody trying to lead you astray, really tempting you. Don't do it. Um... And you know what else? Some of you, just because of how all this is, is coming out, um, this may be the week where this soap opera is unfolding, and it's like all this stuff is coming out about, you know, this other person, and um, you're just kind of in the experience of like, oh my gosh, like you're having a conversation with somebody, and they're telling you all this drama and gossip about like somebody you guys mutually know or something, but Aquarius, if somebody like unloads like all this juicy tidbits on you, it's not for you to go tell anybody else. It's really, really not. With the hanged man ending, ending your reading, it's not for you to go tell even if everything in you wants to. I don't know, Aquarius. It's just like this week is like don't do it. Just don't do it. Whatever it is, don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, and you'll just have to comment and let me know because this is a pretty interesting read for you guys. So anyways, Aquarius, those are your messages for this week. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.